Hello YouTube, this is Alfred Lee Top Fan 5 here and today I'm going to go through on how to get Maya 8.5 my installer away because I never did explain it properly because I had um, no microphone at the time of doing it. Now I have, I'm going to um, go through on how to install it step by step. Um, so let's get started. Right, okay. Uh, where was that? Oh yeah. Alright, okay, I have it already open. <laughs> Alright, so when you download it, you get this setup here without the, without that, because that's the actual setup. Alright, okay, so you click this one here. I'm pretty sure it was that one. <laughs> um, yeah, there we go. Um, and just go through, when it comes to this bit, this bit's the most important. Well, yeah, I'd say most important. The most important bit, because if this has to be a if you've got a 64-bit operating system, I'm pretty sure that's the same with Windows 8 and Windows XP. I'm sure it's 86 that it puts in a 64-bit version. I'm not sure if Windows 8 actually haven't tried it out yet. If you've got Windows 8 and you install this, let me know. Um, it can't be Windows... Um, can't be Program Files 86. It has to be Program Files. If you go to Browse and you go to um, Activision... Don't go to that. I'm so used to going to that. <laughs> go to um, C and go. I need to delete that. Okay. Go to Program Files and just click on Program Files. Select folder and it's C Program Files. Just make sure it says C Program Files and not C Program Files 86. If you're on a 32 bit operating system, don't care about anything I've just said. Just carry on going. So I put it in C Program Files 86 anyway. Push next. And install, and yeah, bloody bloody blah. One well, way for that to do, I'm gonna have to drink. This <coughs> 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 is smoking, it's good for you. Um, <laughs> and instead of going through waiting, I'm going to see what kind of music I've got on here. Um, anything in decent that I can play while I'm waiting. Yeah, 115. I'll do. Turn it down a little bit though. Just while I wait for it to install. You've done that and it's all done click finish and it should put a folder on your desktop now here's the fun bit um, I have a lot of desktop items that's where I stopped um, viewing them from the start um, as I said a lot of desktop items I do a lot of things um, still working on doing a crack for black ops as well um, and I've got to figure out where it's put it you should have a folder called um, Oh, what's the oh hello? What's the folder called? It's called um, Mayo Mayo Install, I think. There we are, Mayo Installer, right over here. Okay, so you've got this now. Click the setup because the setup will run through, but it'll make you do it a second time. If you haven't, if you've got Net Framework four and above, I think that's what it needs for and above for this. Because I did this one in a program that requires um, net framework 4 and above if you don't want to go for the setup simple thing to do is go onto a site which I will leave a link in the description to download net framework 4 because it's an absolute fucker to um, install it so basically you click the setup if you can't be asked to go to install it itself it will install it all for you no it allows you to restart and it will carry on doing the setup just if you do decide to do it the setup way 
once you've restarted, cancel the setup because it's already done it. It just keep over, keep doing it over and over again. I don't know why it does it. That's not my fault. That's to do with the program itself. I've obviously stopped it somehow, somewhere on the line. Anyway, enough of me yattering on. So once you've done it, click that. It should install. Here we are. Install security warning. La -la 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 install. And then it'll load this up. Oh, I've still got the texture. <laughs> Sweet. Right. Okay. So, first thing you want to do is all in order. I've done it all in order for everyone. The first thing you need to do is just push patch files. They say patch done. That is literally what you have to do. Now, this on certain copies of Windows, ultimate preferably, and I'm not sure what it'll do on Windows 8, it can't have a script there. Um, I will show you the two ways of sorting this out. So, click this, and I don't know if actually know if it's going to load or not. More than it looks like it's going to load, yep. Some of them it won't load, and if it doesn't load, I will show you where to go. It's quite simple, like I said earlier on, it needs to be put in, um, uh, thingy, so it'll be under program files, and under mail install. And you just double click auto run. Um, that's if it doesn't load from the button. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, it all depends. So if you click next, full, um, you can change this. I don't want toolbar six and path. Next. Now this bit takes a while, quite a while actually. So I'll go back to playing the rest of um, one one five. Well, wait, or start it from the beginning and start it again because this does take a while. So I'll probably go through the song. Oh, hello again. Well, maybe not, okay? We won't do that. It seems to be going quite fast today. Wow, that is actually quite quick. <laughs> if I put that bottle of Dr. Pepper, I don't have any upstairs. Is that in that bag there? Really? Splash me. Right. So, basically I'm going to find something to talk about. I don't know what yet, so let me think. Yes, I do get yeah, around in tutorials. Um, I am also making my own zombie map. Well, hopefully having that out by Christmas. Putting all the Black Ops 2 games, it's not easy. It's not Black Ops 2, so I've been playing too much Black Ops 2. Black Ops guns, even. Not Black Ops 2. Um, putting all the Black Ops guns, not easy, but I'm getting there slowly. Um, right, okay, so once you've done that, it's all installed. Click this one, open Flix license. Right, then you go to system settings. Um, don't care what you do with my IP address, because to be quite frank with everyone, I mask mine, so that's not the real IP address. It won't be in about three seconds. Um, control C, X out of that, you open the R, open R dot that, and oh fuck. <laughs> bear me two seconds, I've been testing out things. Let's go into the format of this and change it back to the normal aerial. Um, Fuck, where's Ariel? Ariel, there we go. Okay, there we go. Right, so when it says your host here, you type in your um, Ethernet address. Okay, and then you push save and close out of it. Now you do the start licensing. Right. Okay, and my light bulb's just blown in my room. Fucking joyful. Um, I have license I wish to install. Click next. And then, um, I would like to install license from a file. I think that's it. Yep. And then go to this. Now, this is the bit where everyone was getting stuck beforehand. Go to browse. And go to uh, C. Gotta 
and see. <laughs> I've got a lot of different ones. Ah, uh, see. Right. Okay, and then find flex lm, which should be what the patch files and where the patch file put it. So, open that and open a dot w dot that. Select that. Now, don't click. Um, what's it? Don't click next. Go to um, start. Go to um, computer. Go to the same file we were just in. Flex M. Put this over the key rw.keygen. And then open it up and it'll come up with this error. You can fucking da 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 Fuck that shit. Just get rid of that. That's all you need to do. And get rid of the space that's in between it. Click file. Click save. X out of that. And. Don't X out of that. Minimize that because you might need that again in a minute. Now, sometimes in some cases, when you put it over the key gen, it will work for you and it won't come up the error shit. So it doesn't have the error shit, never mind about it. Click next. Right. It's done all that. Click done. Actually, no, don't click done. Unclick this. Uncheck this. Click done. So now it won't load up. Um, then go to um, back to computer. Actually, no, don't do that. So I'm half asleep today, people. Go to FlexM again, and it gives you an RW1.keygen. Drag that over the keygen. This one shouldn't give any errors. There you go. This one is the same. Once it's dragged over the keygen, it's all good. Click X on that. Click X on that. Push exit on that. Never mind about any of that stuff. And then find Maya. <laughs> fun. Well, this desktop is actually is fun because I've got to find it. Um, there we are, Maya. Eight point five. Double click it. Click yes. And hey, you've just got Maya for absolutely nothing. Where have I put that Dr Pepper gone? And then it is all about getting the um, Call of Duty model exporter if you're doing the um, Call of Duty stuff. Um, to be honest with you, I'm not sure how I did that. So I think Joey Triple B did it for me. Or, um, what's it? Um, what's his name? Cinnabar did it. Give me the um, things on it. But if you look around or you ask on somebody modding, I'm pretty sure they'll be able to tell you how to do it. Um, that's just about it for this tutorial. Um, please comment, rate, subscribe if you have any other questions or any suggestions on other software that I should do. Please get in contact with me. I'll try my best to crack it for you. Um, yeah, that's about it for me. Um, thank you very much. Push the button. You push the wrong pause. <laughs> so that is. Uh,